So what are processed foods? We all have heard by now that processed food is not good for us. So what makes a food processed? No one is going to argue that unprocessed foods are good for you and the ultra processed foods are often not. But there's a bit of a gray area between them. And this is only true if we have clear definition of what process means. In the video I'm sharing today, I dive into the four official categories of food processing, unprocessed, minimally processed, processed, and ultra processed. What makes a food process? The world of food can be so confusing at times. There was a time when it was so clear what food was. It came directly from nature, whether foraging, hunting or farming. Now there are so many things we eat that don't resemble a natural food. Michael Pollan has a famous quote, he said, eat food, not too much, mostly plants. And in his famous book, In Defense of Food, he defines what food should be. He says, don't eat anything your great, great grandmother wouldn't recognize as food. And we can all agree that some things are obviously not recognizable by our great, great grandmothers. Candy bars, fast foods and sports drinks. We can also say that many of the common health issues we face today, heart disease, diabetes, some cancers, cavities, etc. didn't exist anywhere before industrially processed foods became available. But where do we draw the line? How do we define processed? How processed is processed? And what the heck is ultra processed? Allow me to let you in on the internationally recognized classification system. And we are going to go through it step by step with an apple. And if you're looking for some unprocessed recipes for glowing skin, then just go onto my website and download 20 delicious salad recipes for glowing skin. And also get into my Insiders Club by subscribing to my newsletter. I send out two newsletters every week talking about everything you need to know about your health, well-being and holistic beauty. <laughs> Unprocessed. According to NOVA, the official definition of unprocessed or natural food is the edible parts of plants, seeds, fruits, leaves, stems, roots, or of animals, mussels, eggs, milk, and of fungi, algae, and water after separation from nature. This is like eating a whole apple, right, off the tree clearly unprocessed. Now let's talk about minimally processed foods. So what are these? Natural foods altered by processes such as removal of inedible or unwanted parts, drying, crushing, grinding, fractioning, filtering, roasting, boiling, pasteurization, refrigeration, freezing, placing in containers, vacuum packaging, or non-alcoholic fermentation. None of these processes adds substances such as salt, sugar, oils or fats to the original food. So with our apple example, once you cut the apple's core out and put the slices into a container to bring with you for your afternoon snack, you are processing it. Yes, that's right. You're processing it minimally. You can even peel and boil the chopped apple to make applesauce. And as long as you don't add anything else like cinnamon, it's still considered minimally processed. Processed. Processed foods, on the other hand, are relatively simple products made by adding sugar, oil, salt or other processed ingredients to unprocessed foods. Most processed foods have two or three ingredients. Processes include various preservations or cooking methods. And in the case of bread and cheese, non-alcoholic fermentation. The main purpose of the manufacture of processed foods is to increase the durability of unprocessed foods or to modify or enhance their sensory qualities. So, 
If you take that applesauce, add cinnamon and or use it in a recipe, you technically have processed the apple. This can still be a healthy choice as you will see in the next definition of ultra processed. Ultra processed, here's where things get interesting and scary. Ultra processed foods are industrial formulations typically with five or more and usually many ingredients. Such ingredients often include those also used in processed foods such as sugar, oils, fats, salt, antioxidants, stabilizers and preservatives. Ingredients only found in ultra processed products include substances not commonly used in culinary preparations and additives whose purpose is to imitate sensory qualities of unprocessed foods or to disguise undesirable sensory qualities of the final product. And unprocessed foods are a small proportion of or are even absent from ultra processed products. So, Prepackaged apple strudel with a long shelf life is very much an ultra processed food. If you took a look at the ingredient list of prepackaged apple strudel, one of with long shelf life, you would see added sugars, oils, preservatives, and flavor enhancers. And we can argue that the healthy apple is a small, very small proportion of the strudel. So the conclusion is, there's a clear delineation between unprocessed, the apple, and ultra-processed, the prepackaged strudel with the long shelf life foods. An apple is nowhere near what a mass-produced apple strudel is, but there are a couple of different categories in between these, namely minimally processed and processed. It's clear that unprocessed apple and minimally processed plain applesauce foods are mostly always quite healthy and nutritious. It's also clear that ultra processed food is not so healthy. Now that you know the definition of these foods, I think you'll agree with me that the commonly used term processed is often referring to the industrial ultra processing of foods. I would love to hear your thought on these definitions. Let me know in the comments below. See you soon. Sending you lots of love and health. Ah, ah.